Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has traveled the world covering some of the biggest events around. From the Summer Olympic Games in London to the Super Bowl, there is not a field or court she hasn't set foot on. Mm, and she has since made a transition from the sidelines to covering a wide variety of topics on her most recent platforms. You can say she knows. Yes. You know. yes. Please welcome HLN correspondent for Morning Express with Robin Mead, the brilliant Melissa Knowles. Yes. Yes. What an introduction. Like that was that? amazing. Yes. Yes. Like you're brilliant. used to doing those types of introductions. I am. This yes. is weird being on the other side. I know. <laughs> well, welcome to Sister Circle. So, Thank of course, you, you are from H-Town. From the H-Town baby. You, you, okay, have, you have the last name Knowles. Oh, here it goes. So, <laughs> go ahead and clarify. Okay, so I get this question that you haven't asked, but I know where you're going to. <laughs> Am I related to Beyonce? Right. I get it all the time. Right. Here is the real answer. I don't know. Okay. Right. Well, why don't I know? I've never hung out with Beyonce before. Yes, Knowles is my real last name. Yes, this is my real melanin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, right. And I really am from Houston. I can tell you that our fathers look very, very much alike. Like they are really almost twin first cousins. Really? Okay, Matthew and wow. Lonnie. My dad's Lonnie. And they've golfed together. But we may have seen each other when we were little girls, but no, I, don't, I wish I knew Beyonce. Yes. I wish I had to slip on my mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. I don't really have one. That was funny, though. I like that. <laughs> right, right. That's a shout out. Yes. Uh, oh, so you are a huge sports fan. Like I am. Rashawn and I were. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're huge sports fans. Um, we know you love the Cowboys. Of course. Okay. Now, do and you, the Texans. I have. I love Texans. both. I yeah. love yeah. both. All the yes. And then, then this, this new NCAA Texas team that was amazing. Mm -hmm. in, in, in its tournament. Anyway, we'll go. We'll, that's another story because I'm huge basketball. She's football. Okay. Okay. So okay. Anyway. okay. <laughs> Did sports bring you to this, or mm -hmm. was this something that kind of evolved once you got in front of the camera? I think that um, having had a 15-year career in broadcast journalism, it has been important that I've been adaptable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have had a passion for sports, being one of the only girl cousins, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. all my boy cousins were always playing sports right. and so I had to go to their events so that natural passion for it was always there mm -hmm. and then I went to journalism school and I learned how to take what it is that I know into what it is that I want to do so yeah. reading writing research I love doing that I right. love hearing people's stories and telling those stories oh, that's awesome. and that's really what you do as a journalist no matter what the yeah. topic of discussion and it's is rare so. nowadays so thank yeah. you yeah because, oh, well, I, mean, I like you know, to tell the truth yeah the, i mean but facts, in the age facts of, of, of blogging and sure. people just kind of going out and saying whatever with no facts willy nilly and, yeah. 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 yeah i don't do that no yeah. i i think that it is i mean that is the reason that we tell the stories yeah. so that you get the facts out there first that's what's most important but i think my passion for sports transitions well to cover in it does. anything yep mm -hmm. yep because because sports, there's always a certain energy right. about sports, and if you can bring that energy and that passion to passion, anything right. else that you're covering, yeah. I mean, it just it comes through in your work. Well, yeah. we have to remind the people or tell the people about yeah. the day that you actually inter um, um, auditioned for HLN. Yes, you were there. I was there. You were there. You were doing. Were I you was doing, doing sports. sports. Yes. And I was. Uh, I think they maybe do trending things that mm -hmm. day, and I was like, okay, I could be trending. I'm Knowles <laughs> at all. Right, okay, right, what do you right. want me to do? A social yes. needs a job. And I, wanted, <laughs> and I wanted to move to the ATL. Right. So I said, okay. okay, I could do that. And too. you did. And, and you then did. now, and then I became the go-to trending topics person. Do I have an interest in social media? Yes. Did I have a passion for pop culture? Yes. But then did I say, oh my goodness, they don't have anybody doing this. Yeah. Let mm -hmm. me be that person. Right. Let me be that go-to person. created a lane for I yourself. I created a lane for myself, yeah. and, and I navigate that lane pretty well. And yeah. I also, in, on occasion, will still cover sports because oh, yes. I love it. I, I know, love absolutely. So, yeah, you talk about away. everything uh, with Morning Express um, with Robin Mead. Are there yes. any things that are off limit to you? Off limit? Yeah. I mean, we don't really talk much about our personal lives. We don't go too deep. Mm -hmm. He's not on air very mm -hmm. much, just because, I mean, oh gosh, there I am. Oh, but my extension's in. Yes, I'm beautiful. <laughs> I am enough. You know, I had a baby, so I cut, yes. I cut all my hair yes, off, and I'm here for that, too. Yeah, you look yeah. great. Thank, look. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My mama said, girl, don't cut your hair. I'm not cutting it. Yes. <laughs> You're a new woman. Absolutely, man. absolutely. Somebody's mama. Oh, I know that's right. <laughs> so we, we have a lot of amazing guests like yourself. Down to the sister circle. Have there been any moments where that have just been standouts for you in your journalism career, period? Sure. sure. I had the opportunity to interview the legendary, the iconic Miss Cicely Tyson yes. last January. She was here for an event. And I think I was about 12 and a half weeks pregnant. 
and y'all know what that part of pregnancy is like. It was like, oh, I mean, I was exhausted. I was, but she walked into the room, mm -hmm. and it was as if royalty had yes. entered, black royalty. And yes. she is, she yes. is. Yes. Uh, and I, I said, uh, Miss Tyson, I don't know if I should bow or curtsy. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, it was just to be in her presence. To, uh, and I've, I've seen her perform. I saw her Tony Award winning performance in wow. uh, The Trip to Bountiful yeah. on Broadway. And to, to just to be able to sit across from her, in her that's presence, a moment. I'll never, I'll never forget that moment. in her brain. Everything yes. about, I mean, you just want to just sit there and just listen, yes. and just absorb. And so yeah. that, that was a moment in my career that I will never forget. Absolutely, wow. absolutely. Well, moment in your life that you will never forget is the day you gave birth to Ooh. Beckham Henry. Oh. Beckham Henry! Oh. Oh my God, <laughs> that baby is yummy. Y'all, look at him. About oh. to be eight months, okay? Oh. About to be eight months old. My God. Look at those cheeks. Cheeks. Look at that sugar. How has he changed your life? In every way imaginable. Yes. I'm a lot more patient. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm still, you know what, honestly, I'm very, oh, there he is with his dad laughing Damn. and silly. I have always been um, very self-centered, honestly. I think I've been the kind of person who's just been so focused on my career, focused on my passions and what I want. And now while that is still a part of me, my main focus is is having a son who is thriving, having a son who knows he matters mm -hmm. and teaching him. There's my husband, Scott. Thanks, and just Scott. wanting him Aww. to be, um, just wanting him to thrive. Yes, yes. So well, that's my main goal. Well, we want you to continue to thrive yes. in all Thank aspects you. of your life. You're absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Oh, yes. 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 And we love yeah. having you down to the surface. <laughs> look at this beautiful woman. Be sure to follow Melissa on Instagram at Knowles It All. Okay. And catch her in Morning Express with, uh, on Morning Express with Robin Mead daily on HLN.